It's Monday, September 21st, 2020. Welcome to Cage Stage, where we engage the culture with truth from a Christian worldview. And speaking of truth and the Christian worldview, we've had a lot of breaking news over the weekend, all kinds of stuff going on. Of course, the biggest news being that of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the uh, Supreme Court Justice who just passed away. There is so much to discuss there, and I could do a couple videos easy on it, but with the overwhelming amount of coverage concerning Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I feel it unnecessary to even go there and, and just cover things that you're already hearing from multiple sources anyway. So what I decided to do for this Monday morning is cover a story that is being completely swept under the rug. I haven't heard the mainstream media speak on it at all whatsoever. Um, I don't think you're going to hear this from too many sources. Um, the, the media outlets are afraid to touch this kind of news. But there is a news source which is uh, very reputable, and I really appreciate uh, Miss Star Parker over at Black Community News. Now, this is something that I look forward to getting the, these articles sent directly to my inbox, and I try to keep up with as much of the articles that they publish as possible because they are really good. They're news stories that you're not going to hear everywhere. And um, these uh, writers of these articles, these journalists, they are very, very detailed on their job. They understand the subject matter at hand. And I trust the, the source is a, is a great source of information. So, that being said, Black Community News put out an article, which I will leave the link in the description so y'all can check out the article for yourself. But um, they recently discovered that there is a Kroger, which if... You don't have Kroger's in your area. Maybe you don't know what that is, but it, it's a probably the biggest chain grocery store chain in the United States. I mean, it's it's huge, and they own a lot of other grocery stores, which you may know some of those. I know out in the state of New Mexico, there's a grocery store called Smith's, and uh, Kroger owns them. I think in Phoenix, they have. Smitty's, if I'm not mistaken, or Fry's. I think it's Fry's, which is um, owned by Kroger, I believe. Um, but they're known all over the country, other uh, in, in other states by other names. But primarily Kroger is the name that they're most uh, known by. And uh, throughout the South, the Midwest, you'll see Kroger's. Now, this grocery store decided to fire two female employees who were both Christians. And don't get it twisted, they were fired for being Christians. What happened exactly was these women were told by Kroger to wear a pin on their shirt, which is, um, it was a heart-shaped rainbow pin. And they felt that they were being told to wear this to promote the LGBTQ agenda, which we've all seen in our culture. Just, it's really up until this year, it's been the the fight the strongest fight from the left to uh, promote LGBTQ uh, matters in in this world they've been fighting hard 
now we saw that change this year where everything's gone more uh, towards race and that's kind of the that's the tool so to speak that the left is using now to advance their agenda however there still are many situations out here where the lgbtq agenda is being advanced and um for those of us who are christians we know that this doesn't come from us this comes from god's word that homosexuality as far as a, a lifestyle that's something that god speaks against in his word that we are not to engage in a lifestyle that is contrary to nature again this is not me saying this this is not other christians out here that you have made have heard say this this is god's very word i mean take a good look at the first chapter of romans and then just read romans through and through um the first seven chapters deal with sin and it's extensively covered uh, but specifically in chapter one now you can go to the old testament and you can see all over the place where god has a law and he has a standard for what is appropriate and what is sin and what is not to be done and as believers as christians we follow god's law we follow the word of god the holy scriptures so these women were doing exactly what they are called to do as christians they were being faithful in that they were being like daniel and um and his friends who were in captivity in in babylon they remained faithful so these women were fired because they refused to support the lgbtq agenda and to celebrate it now this is clearly against the law because the civil rights act of 1964 covers a myriad of of topics or of um distinct categories that are protected that that are are protected as far as the rights of individuals and employers cannot discriminate on employees based on these categories, such as their sex, whether they're male or female. They can't discriminate on them based on gender. They can't discriminate on them uh, based on skin color. So that would be against the law. Well, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 also states that employees cannot be discriminated from their employers in the area of religion for their religious belief and practice. Therefore, the law was broken. Now, if Kroger is willing to settle this, then, hey, you know, they messed up and they paid for it. However, that is not the case here. Kroger is deciding to make a stand, to take a stand. And this is a, a culturally significant stance they're taking against religious freedom in our country. And they're, they're going to let it go to court and they're going to fight it. They, they don't believe that they're wrong. Um, hate to break it to you, Kroger. You broke the law. And... You're not too smart going to court here. You're not going to win this. There's, there's no way. You, you're, you're not going to win it. It's, you broke the law. So you're, you're taking the wrong stance. And I am very against 
cancel culture, so I'm not telling anybody to not shop there anymore or support them. However, I will say, I don't know. I I personally, I, I got to think twice whether I even want to go in Kroger and shop and spend my money. I'd, I'd rather spend my money somewhere else. That's me personally. Um, I, I actually do shop at Kroger. Me and my family do pretty regularly. And we get gas there for the car. And I don't know. I, I'm really going to have to to think about that one. But please check out the article. And uh, let's be sure to be praying for these women who did take a stance. Um, if, if we don't stand for anything as Christians and believers, then we will continue to fall for everything, as the old saying goes. Um, and more and more, I think you'll see that happening as our culture pulls away from Christianity and as we continue to dive into this post-Christian culture that we live in, uh, you're going to see it more and more. You're going to see people's faith challenged. You're going to pe see people discriminated against because of their faith, their belief in God, uh, specifically in Jesus Christ. So let's pray for them as well as other believers that are facing these same uh, discriminations, but also real persecution that's happening in this country and abroad. Uh, there's a lot of Christian persecution happening in this world right now. So let's be faithful to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ. And until the next video, grace and peace.